We all go through these types of stories together ourselves. Now, whether that be uh, for a minor issue or taking a country to war, we all have these internal battles and struggles every single day. Some months we have a harder, harder month, some years we have harder years, but we do all go through this. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Continuing to push on, despite what's in front of you, is what creates winners. If you consider, and I, I know this because I've been through this journey in my own trading. I had people tell me that I couldn't do things all the time. I couldn't become a trader because I was a builder's son. What, what did I know about trading? How was I going to be good at being a trader? I wasn't good at math. I wasn't bad at math, but I certainly wasn't a quant. I'm not a very, very uh, savvy mathematician. But what I did have was the ability to keep going. The determination for the goal, uh, stubbornness to maintain um, my path, and to prove people and prove people wrong, but to prove myself right more importantly than proving anyone else wrong, because I did it for me. That's what kept me going. And you're gonna need to find that depth of character at some point. You are gonna face some really tough periods of time. If you're gonna give up, hey, that's fine. If, if that's what you wanna do, if that's your character, if that's the depth of who you are, then fine, give up. But let me say one thing. No one that gives up has ever achieved anything great. If trading, investing, blockchain, business, whatever it may be, whatever the reason you are doing what you're doing, now it may not be giving you financial gain right now. It may not be paying the bills. But is it your journey? Is this your vision? Are you committed to the cause? If it's something that you really want to achieve, but if you back yourself, believe in yourself, take the right steps moving forward, you really can do anything. And I don't say that to be some sort of guru or some you know, artist of, of um, you know, saying the right thing. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just being damn honest with you. Keep going, guys. It's there. Keep going. If you're having hard times, get perspective, but don't give up. Something that's, I think, important for success, not just in trading, but in anything, it's who you surround yourself with. Having positive people that are knowledgeable, it doesn't even need to be knowledgeable within the space that you're working within, but just people that sort of have common sense, can think logically, and sometimes give you that outside viewpoint, that external view. That's why I suggest that people work with groups of people or mentors that, um, that complement or that can help them to complement their trading. Uh, if that means you have, you need to get trading strategy, then go and find it, whether it's for me or somebody else, it doesn't really matter. Something that works for you, that makes sense to you for you then to build upon. Your biggest lessons come from your biggest mistakes. I've made plenty of them, <laughs> and I'm not scared to, to admit it at all. Um, you know, I make a lot of mistakes. That's, that's why I'm good to learn from, because I've been there, I've done this, I've been trading for 12 years now. It's a process of elimination, really. The first person to make all the mistakes and learn from those mistakes, I will add, is the winner. Uh, that's what they call the 10,000 hours to become a master of anything. I've done my 10,000 hours. I'm not a master of trading, but I do know what I'm doing, and I am consistent. I have the community there that they help each other and it's fantastic but when I started I didn't have any anything like slack uh, like the community that we've got there um, at the moment where other people are trading the same strategies they've done the same courses they're trading the same way the same principles with the same routines you have life mentors sometimes people that might have been your you know your dad, your mum, it could be for your immediate, but um, outside of your immediate circle, it might be somebody that you've known, a friend's dad uh, from back in school, it might be someone that you met at work, um, whoever it may be. If these people are the sort of people that you want to have in your life uh, as a mentor and as a sort of a keel, uh, as long as you can send them the right information, they can often help. Sometimes you don't even have to send them information, you can call up and go, look, I'm, you know, sometimes for me it'd be like, you know, I remember these conversations very well. You've been doing this for a year and a half. I mean, did you expect that you'd be, you know, driving a Porsche now? Did you expect that you'd be flying around the world first class? Because if you did expect that, then this is the wake-up call that you need. Because, you know, things take time. Uh, to be a master of anything does take time. To be good at anything does take time. You've got to start, a, start to um, commit yourself to the craft, take your time, understand that there is a process that you've got to get through before you can have the success. Now, whether you want to drop trading after a year or six months or two months or three years or whatever it may be, having the right people around me to give me that tough love when it was needed, to tell me that, stop being an idiot, Craig, things take time, be patient, don't push things, 
That was really important. And I had these conversations many times. I'm pretty, I, I, not so much these days, but I was very, very impatient. I wanted everything today. I worked bloody hard. And that was why I thought, well, if I'm working twice as hard as everybody else, then can't I have things twice as fast? <laughs> it doesn't always work that way, guys. Who you surround yourself with is going to mould who you are and how fast you can become the person you want to be and the trader you want to be. I have two apprentices thus far. There will be more to come. Uh, and what I do with the apprentices is I'm basically taking them from very early stage traders to experts, basically. So they're full-time if they wish to be full-time. You don't have to be a full-time trader to sort of uh, suggest that you're successful at it. Just, I just want to make sure these guys can create a good income uh, and do very well and know what they're doing and be able to help others in that same path as well. It's the whole message for TraderCobb.com, the education and what I'm doing in this space is to help you to be the best trader you can be the best market participant, the best version of yourself. It all it all comes together. If you want to be a good trader, there's a lot of areas in your life you need to get right before the trading side can click perfectly. But I'm honest with you. I'm straight with you all the time. I tell it how I see it. I am who I am. And for those of you that have met me, the person that you get in the podcast and my content and my courses, I'm exactly the same person. I'm pretty brutal. I'm pretty honest. I'm pretty straight down the line. Sometimes what you want is not what you need and sometimes what you need to say is not what other people want to hear and that's big when i'm in these sessions they bring up all sorts of bits and pieces but sometimes you know you, that luke and matt will both attest to this i would just say no no, no that, that, that's a terrible trade blah, 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 blah. all the butts in the world all the justification in the world doesn't take a bad trade and make it a good trade and I'll tell the truth. Now, it might not be what they want to hear. And I have said, look, scale your risk all the way back. Don't think about making money. Go to 0.1% risk. Go to risk a tiny amount of money. They don't want to hear that because they know that's a backward step. In their trajectory towards their goals, they think that if I'm not increasing my amount of risk X, you know, whenever I, whenever it's following to my plan because I do have rules to increase their risk, it can feel like a backward step. The reason that I am the mentor is because I've been through all this. I've made all of these mistakes. And sometimes, very often actually, to take what might seem like a step backwards can actually be a giant step forward. And they've learned this because, you know, to take a step backwards and say, look, you're not trading enough, uh, take a step back, trade more, make more mistakes, then we can assess these mistakes and we can help you to move forward. The whole point of the community and having all those people in there to help and to critique and to share and to grow with you is to grow, is to learn, is to educate, is to better yourself. Now, if I see something in there that is not right, I'm going to say it. And again, I'm not saying it to be little. I'm not saying it to boost my ego. I'm not saying it to be rude. I'm saying it because it needs to be said and it needs to be said in a certain way. I don't fluff around. A task in life is to grow ourselves and to help the people around us to grow. Don't worry if what you're going to say upsets people. And then it allows us to have that moment where we have that aha moment. Stop, shift, change your perspective and think. If we lived in a society where everyone always tells each other that everything's always good and that they're always right, and we do to a certain extent, we don't actually get any chance to grow. We need honesty to ourselves in our trading, in our everyday lives and to our friends. Uncomfortable truths are what we need, you and I included. These uncomfortable truths help us to see a part of us that we may not have seen. And if we can see that, we can recognize that. And if we are human enough and present enough and mindful enough to take that on board and improve, then that's going to help us. People disagree with my ideas all the time. I'm cool with that. I love that. It's what the honesty loop is. And without that honesty loop, our internal dialogue and our friends around us, we can't grow together. That's what the Trader Cobb community is for. It's for honest, it's an honest community, honest platform for you to post your trades, to discuss it with people, to learn and grow.